we, we, we in the smart up we are actually uh, touring around the Baltic Sea we started from Finland we went to Denmark Aarhus uh, then we went Lithuania Vilnius Palanga now we are in Tallinn then we go to the uh, Brandenburg Denmark and so forth uh, so this is a journey mm -hmm. so uh, from your actually experience uh, what is the most important on this kind of journey and then uh, also integrating the innovation camps to this uh, journey maybe the key is this is not the journey on traveling to one place and then another but it's a journey uh, together with uh, people and that's people learn to work together, share experience, bring kind of open-minded some new po potential solutions as well. So, and and then when operating in different uh, local premises, so then everywhere you can and the participants can and should integrate more people to this and get the messages through the mayor's office or get even the the the, the ministers of that country to realize that you are here with these teams you are building the future for the whole baltic sea region and that needs to be more kind of more synergy using different financing instruments not this is not a project it's a flow of ideas so uh, you said that uh, this is a journey with the people, uh, with the messages, with the insights uh, to the policymakers and to the solutions, to the businesses. So it is mm -hmm. about the co-creation and, and, and uh, entrepreneurial mindset, uh, capacity building. Yeah, it's very much actually the change of the working mentality. Because entrepreneurial mindset is crucial, as, as you put that as one of those uh, focus areas. So how we can see the new opportunities, opportunities for renewing the public sector administration. That's why digitalization needs to be kind of embedded everywhere. Use the best knowledge and uh, see the new changing role of cities or city-driven regions so that they don't just uh, keep on producing the services in the old traditional way, but they look who else could do more in creating or delivering the services, developing the, the new service culture there so that people themselves and more small communities of people can create much for themselves and then share that with the others and then suddenly the city sees that, that their new role is more to be the catalyzer, enabler, and not just trying uh, traditionally produce all uh, needed services. So you mentioned uh, this uh, role of digitalization and you yourself are now the rapporteur of the uh, European Dig uh, Digital Europe so program. So what are the insights in, in this Digital Europe program and what we should do here in, in cities, regions, universities? Actually, the I think first key message is so that it's a strong EU level instrument to uh, speed up to change to digital single market. Fully functioning digital single market is our kind of target and it needs to be everywhere. And for this now, this new proposal, the new program kind of standalone, uh, a separate program, but all uh, the objectives, operational criteria force this program to be linked with the collaboration with the other programs. Not only at the EU level, uh, although so far it's more seen that what is there on the research on the Horizon 2020 or the New Horizon Europe or what will be there uh, using the cohesion funds, regional development funds and how these financing instruments can work more together to uh, uh, mobilize private investments, public investments. But now what Digital Europe uh, as a new program wants to do more is to encourage the local level, regional level activities so that cities with their uh, universities, with their research centers, uh, with their local businesses, small business, uh, large businesses, so how to do more together so that it's really creating new uh, solutions uh, 
and speeding the transformation on digitalization, but as well speed the journey, in a way, main flow uh, of uh, innovation to market to industrializing uh, the pro products, uh, services, and then getting that to the market. Uh, and th that's what happens now with this new program. But next two years are still more the planning and implementing and creating the concept. One of the major instruments on that is digital innovation hubs. In, as we have said, the target being that every region should have at least one digital innovation, which have a strong European nature for collaboration, good knowledge of technology, good ne uh, knowledge of latest research uh, uh, results, so that that can be uh, uh, both created for the local purpose, kind of one-stop shop, so that you get, being you an entrepreneur, uh, startup, uh, new business creator or growth business uh, developer, so you could integrate that to the knowledge.